Welcome back to ARC Tutorials. This is Top 50 Agile Interview Questions with Answers Part 4. If you haven't checked out the first three parts, I'll request you to kindly check them so that you have continuity in your learning and you master all the interview questions on Agile. You can get this PPT ebook free at arttutorials.gumroad.com. You can download it for free. Make sure you get your copy. All right, so first question in part four is, is cancelling a sprint possible? And who can cancel the sprint? So this is mostly asked to uh, scrum masters because they want to understand that, is it possible to, uh, that you can cancel a sprint? Who can cancel it? Uh, to understand the dynamics about how to handle when there is a situation when a sprint needs to be canceled. So the answer is, only the product owner can cancel the sprint. It can be cancelled before the sprint time box limit ends. That means, let's say your, your sprint is starting in four days. The product owner comes back and says, hey, due to a lot of holidays, state holidays, public holidays, or some team members are not available, or say uh, the backlog items are not ready, or there is some impediments in terms of, say, network dependency, licensing, etc we can cancel, a, uh, only product owner can cancel the sprint. What does the term increment mean in sprint? An increment is a concrete stepping stone towards the product goal. Each increment is additive, additive to all the prior increments. That means you keep building small and then keep adding and it, then it becomes big, right? So increment is nothing but you keep improving you keep adding you keep additionally adding to the product and that's where it will become uh, big or rather say that you will achieve your product goal what does a product owner when what events does a product owner must be present now this is a question often asked to understand that what is the role of a product owner right how will he contribute to the product goal so product owner is required to be in every sprint every sprint planning, sprint review, and sprint retrospective. These are the important ceremonies that product owner must be present. But notice here that there is not, um, we have not included the daily sprint standup, right? So daily uh, sprint standup meeting, product owner is not required. How does a sprint control risk? So when you limit work, right, you release the value early. That means you get early feedback. When you get early feedback, you can improve upon, you can fix any defects or any issues that you notice. And hence, the risk of the overall end product uh, goes down. The quality becomes high because the iterations, when you do iterations, we get to find issues early on in the product stage. And that is less costly than finding a pr the issue at the end and that is a costly because in terms of time, integrations, etc. What is Scrum Poker or Planning Poker? Scrum Poker or Planning Poker is a technique to estimate the relative size of development goals in software development. It is a way to determine sprint items during by durations by playing cards and instead of speaking them loud. Now this is something that few companies, few enterprises follow not all again scrum or agile can be customized per enterprise per client this is a way where everybody in the team has the poker cards which has the fibonacci numbers which is 0 0.5123513 so each member would show a card and give a number to a particular story based on the consensus the story points are then given to a story Right. This, this particular technique is called as Scrum Poker or Planning Poker. Explain responsibilities of a Scrum Master. The Scrum Master role is very, very similar to Project Manager. That there is a thin line and close walk between Scrum Master and Project Management. Conducting sprint planning, all the ceremonies and Project Management is part of Scrum Master's role. To schedule daily scrum meeting, to run those the daily scrum meetings is part of the scrum master's day-to-day -day job. Management of responsibilities of the scrum process is also part of the responsibility of a scrum master. 
removing blockers impediments or barriers in for the team is also part of the scrum master now that does not mean that scrum master will sit and solve your problems the scrum master's job is to facilitate meetings with the required stakeholders so that we solve our impediments or blockers scrum master also assist the qa team the product backlog in the product backlog or the qa team or the product owners by helping them getting clarifications or functional understanding so when you are asked about the responsibilities of a scrum master make sure you talk about all these points now what is time box for sprint planning now a lot of times sprint planning goes on for hours and it yields little output or little productive output that's where time boxing comes into picture that means you time box to a maximum of 8 hours for a month sprint for example you your sprint planning should be not should not be more than 8 hours right uh, for a month of sprint that means if you have uh, two sprints going on you should not spend more than say 8 hours in planning itself if you do that that means you're wasting time of everybody on the sprint team we should have shorter stories clear stories with much better acceptance criteria for shorter sprints event is usually shorter that means if your sprint is only two weeks you cannot spend eight hours in planning so you might want to spend one or two hours and get going with it right now who owns the product backlog i told this earlier also the product owner owns the product backlog remember this is an important question that is often asked to scrum masters or the scrum team who owns the sprint backlog now this this is a tricky question the sprint backlog is owned by the development team the by the entire development team everybody contributes to the sprint backlog but product backlog remember the previous question it is owned only by the product owner now who decides whether the product can be released or not once the sprint is completed once the sprint team demos the work that is completed the product owner will review the final product and the release and will then take a decision whether to release this product or not after talking to QA after talking to the respective stakeholders in terms of whether they are satisfied with that particular functionality or not so the answer is the product owner takes the final decision all right so i'll continue this series in the next part which is the last part part 5 you can get this entire ppt as ebook for free at arctutorials.gumroad.com if you have any questions feedback suggestions please write to me at surya.aradhya@gmail.com please don't forget to subscribe and ask me your doubts in the comment section if you like this video please hit that like button thank you so much again see you in the next part